In this video from Shop Stuff, we'll demonstrate how you can pre-program the two discount buttons on the Casio SEC3500. You have a minus button, which can be pre-programmed to give a straight amount discount, so £2.50 for example, and you also have a percent minus button, which can be pre-programmed to give a certain set percentage, so 15% every time for argument's sake. Okay, to do this, first of all, you need the manager key, and you need to turn it round to the PGM position. Once in PGM, you use the cursor down arrow to choose key setting. When this is highlighted, press cash amount 10. You now have the two buttons that you can edit. Percent minus is already highlighted, so we'll start with that one by pressing cash amount 10. And here we come to the settings for the percent minus button. So it's defaulted onto the rate, and the rate is zero currently. So to change it to 15%, which is what we'll do in this demonstration, you simply type in 1, 5, and 15 appears at the rate. You can also give the button a descriptor. The descriptor will appear on your receipts, on the screen, and also on the end-of-day report. So it's, it's quite a useful function. Um, so rather than having it called percent minus, we can call it something like loyalty. And we'll pop that in. Use your alpha underlay provided with the machine. Pop it in there, and then we can give our button a name. L. Delete button is here. A slight pause as I was looking for delete. It's on the um, decimal point button and we can use this to get rid of any unwanted characters, so to speak. Okay, once you're happy with your settings for that button, you can remove this and then you can press cash amount 10 to return, sorry, subtotal to return to the main menu. Um, if you want to program the minus button you can do that now as well so for this demonstration let's go in and program this one as well so you scroll down till it's highlighted press cash amount end and here you type in the preset amount discount so we'll say ours is £2.50 and yep let's give this one a name as well so I can prove I know where the delete button is we'll call this discount member you can call it anything you want, it's um, it's just something so it, it looks good on your receipt and then it's more familiar to you when you look at your end of day reports. Delete that, so we're happy with that, that's all the information we need. One thing I haven't mentioned is the tax status. If you've got tax set up on the machines, then you need to make sure that the taxable status of the discount buttons is the same as the products you're going to be applying it to. So for example, if most of your products are at tax status 1, then you should change the status of the discount button to be tax 1. And to do that, you highlight the non-tax, press cash amount end, and then you've got your four tax rates listed out. Or you can choose all at the bottom. Um, this machine hasn't got tax applied to it, so we'll leave it at non-tax for now. we we'll press subtotal to escape. And again, and again. Then we can turn the keypad around to register. If you've got receipt on, you get a receipt printing out confirming your changes. So we've got the loyalty at 15% and the member at £2.50. And if we get rid of the alpha keyboard, pop it in a safe place. When we pop a sale through now, £6. We should automatically, when we press subtotal and the percent button, get a 15% discount, which is what it's done. And then if we apply the minus discount, it's a default of £2.50. Press cash amount and you can see that on the receipt, rather than percent minus and minus, you have your 15% loyalty discount and the member discount pre-programmed. For more information on the Casio SEC3500 sales features, please visit Shop Stuff. For more technical support, please visit cashregisters-uk.co.uk. Thanks for watching.